Good evening everyone. So today I finally installed 2018.24.1 as the latest software update or firmware update I should say on my Tesla Model S P100D. So yep, it's uh, time again to uh, do my usual test round and see how this one compares to the 21.9 that I tested in the Model X. So the first obstacle that we have here is the Hillcrest, where in the past few updates it did just fine. So let's see how it does now. So we're coming up to the top. No, oh, that's absolutely fine. What it, does it do at the bottom here? Yeah, slight wiggle that I noticed in the uh, 21.9 update as well, but um, that's because of the uh, line detection that's there, uh, or the way it detects the, the, the lines. But yeah, nothing to be worried about. Same here, just uh, dead straight over the top of the hill. So yeah, that's good. Okay, the second part of the test is a little intersection here. And yes, I know it is not supposed to work on intersections, but there's quite good lane markings here. So let's see what it does. Yep, again, that's uh, still going straight without any hesitation. So, yep, I like the way it uh, handles that one. Unfortunately, we still don't have an automatic lane change on uh, secondary roads. So that is still something where AP1 has the advantage. Um, but yeah, I think that will come as soon as the secondary roads are, how should I say it, declassified by, uh, by Tesla to allow the lane change because there's no physical barrier why it should not be able to do that on this kind of road. Up ahead, there is that tight right and left turn that it uh, keeps struggling with and actually Autopilot 1 is handling that beautifully. So let's see what this update brings for this specific thing. Here we go. Oh, it's going way over the line. Yeah, I can feel the bumps of the line. It's going to the outside. It's on the line. Oh, and slightly over the line even. So yeah, and I have to intervene here. Um, so that's definitely worse in this case. But again, I mentioned it a couple of times already. This is a very difficult situation for autopilot to uh, handle. Uh, but I got the impression that with the Model X test that I did, 21.9, that that was better than what it does now so that's not good but it's not meant to take those kind of turns and everything that is not highway is a bonus but still it has done that a lot better than what it does now or how it takes it now so now that we have the uh, cars in the other lanes it's a little bit more clear as to what autopilot is seeing but let's see how it will handle a lane change when the car is still slowing down for the truck in front of me. So as soon as the car starts slowing down, uh, I'll initiate the lane change. So that's here. So I'll go for the lane change and it keeps slowing down until it almost completes that lane change. So yeah, that's, that's still not good. I'd like it to accelerate when you initiate that lane change uh, especially at that kind of a distance. Um, I can understand this is for safety reasons, but that car that just passed me, that was actually behind me, 
and it did a double overtake uh, because I was not fast enough to overtake uh, the truck in front of me. So that could still use some improvement. So something that I've also been testing uh, on this tour and uh, that is pretty consistent is that uh, at highway speeds the autopilot nag is now between 22 and 25 seconds um, and uh, when I was doing 70 then the nag was showing up like every 48 to 50 seconds so let's say uh, around 50 seconds and around 25 seconds uh, at highway speeds so yeah that's definitely a change um, and yeah it's there to make sure that you keep your hands on the steering wheel however it does not it still doesn't guarantee that you actually pay attention because you could have your hands on the steering wheel and doze off anyway and then it would still detect the slight uh, resistance uh, against the turning force of the autopilot but yeah um, it's what Tesla can do at this point maybe they'll find another way but they just want to uh, keep us safe and make sure that we pay attention to the road as long as we're not in full autonomous mode here we're coming up to that tight left right lane shift let's see what this update brings us Oh, that goes way to the inside of that uh, of that corner, that first one, um, which makes it a lot smoother transition. It's more a gradual one instead of actually turning left right. It's more like going to the apex, so to speak, of the left one and to and, and the right one. Um, so that is definitely an improvement. I like it. I like it a lot. Now what can we say about this latest update? Well, there are definitely some improvements. So first of all, you got the lane shift, which it now takes more gradual by uh, going to the uh, so-called apex of the corner. Um, so that's a lot better. It also keeps more distant from the curb. So that's good. Um, something else that I also noticed is when I'm in traffic, uh, or in a traffic jam, uh, better said, then the car used to go from line to line, started ping-ponging. I made a specific uh, video about that uh, as well. And now that seems to be gone. So the corrections that it's making, it's only small corrections, but it's not going from side to side anymore. It's only a small correction that it's doing. So that's definitely an improvement that, that is more than welcome. Um, on the other hand, there is the uh, regression on the uh, tight S-curve. Um, so yeah, that, that is something that Tesla urgently needs to work on um, because it's going up and down. Sometimes it's better, sometimes it's worse. And that seems to be a very tricky thing for, uh, for Tesla to, uh, to try to solve. Um, but yeah, uh, overall I'm rather happy with this update, apart from having to deal with a more frequent nag, but that's a totally different uh, discussion here um, and, and we'll have to live with that in, in terms of safety. Um, but yeah, uh, so if you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell icon uh, so you're notified of any new videos that are being updated or uploaded. And for now, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.